Right, so Annemiek van Vluten had a horrendous crash in Rio Olympics 2016. It was a right-hand corner. I'm going to show you two in a minute. And she went over the handlebars, but she also had a really bad crash in the Giro Donna on a right-hand corner and did almost the same thing. So I just want to go through, <clears throat> you know, what mistakes she made maybe, as well as, like, why she crashed both times. Obviously, Van Vluten probably, I reckon, would absolutely bat me on a descent. But nonetheless, I'm a cycling commentator, so I've got to give my words. So anyway, this is 5k to go. She's been to everyone else. You can see the time gaps. It's huge. But anyway, so we're just going to watch this full time and then we'll go through it a little bit slower. Team DSM. So here she is just going in the corner. And like, to be honest, right, we'll just watch it. And then, yeah, basically skids out back wheel, just has target fixation, goes straight on. Now, we'll watch her. This is sort of a rogue angle. Right? We'll watch the better angle first. So this is from the TV. The Olympics hops over <clears throat> a speed bump right hand corner again on the entrance of the corner realize she's not making it slams on brake flies over handlebars so we can then watch this angle as well it basically shows exactly the same thing now the question is <clears throat> sorry my throat's quite bad the question is why has she crashed in both occasions now i think i'm going to go to the rear one first because i think that's a bit more obvious and probably people have seen it a bit more so anyway, if you look on here like she's not clipping the apex on the left hand corner here like she's a fair way wide which is fine here though she hops over i think she doesn't know the course like if you if you look at it from here obviously she's going 60 70k an hour so fair enough but on the wrong side of the road like you should definitely be on the left wax it around here again on the apex you think if she's cutting across here she'd be able to carry far more speed would have to take less angle on it just fine here is like you're obviously not making that like you can see the way the road cuts away to the right you're not making that round at that lean angle you'd have to go i mean i don't even know if anyone can make it round but then here it's like okay she might go okay but the issue was i think these big drain covers she really freaked out and then obviously just like whacked on the rear the rear brake skid massively then hit the front brake and then cheerio flew at the handlebars but the question is did the exact same thing happen in the giro donna now i would say not the exact same thing but pretty close again it's a right hand corner she comes in she's on the right hand, she's on the side of the road now i think this is different though because from here she's making that corner like she doesn't need to touch any more brakes if she banks that bike over I guarantee you she makes that every single day of the week because you can see like if you look to the right it's like decently wide and it doesn't cut in that much it's quite like a flat corner if that makes sense so here again same thing start skidding the rear wheel and i think that you know people might blame this race it's not because she had had the rim and did this exactly the same thing so that obviously is like she's no she's not making the corner but so she's like tries to slow down as much as possible but i think then she can't corner so again she then actually here again i think if she stops braking banks it over here she's making it because you look She's got like a fair runoff here because at this moment in time, it's hard to see just because of the shadow, but she's actually stopped braking, stopped skidding. She's got her leg leaned over and you think, okay, that's fine. And then here again, like, like obviously this is literally like a millisecond later, but she would have time. And then at this point, again, it's like, you know, you, you can't turn and break at that much time, um, which is what she does. And then again exactly the same thing happens she then slams on the front brake and goes does a little endo she then saves it though which was actually pretty impressive like that was mad that she then saved her endo and then sort of just then is careering neither here nor there um and then just hits this pole and to be honest was fine she actually managed to hold it quite well i think the issue was she knew she was going to crash but i think if she like had managed to think clearly at this point here was like actually just commit to the corner bank it over she would have made it because there wasn't quite enough time to slow down but like she's definitely not the same mistake that was done in rio 100 percent because in rio she was on the wrong side of the road coming into the corner and also like had the disaster where she couldn't slow down enough well here she actually managed to save it pretty well like i think she could have got around it but having said that like she barely lost anything okay the chain came off and all the rest of it but it wasn't actually that bad. Well, if we go back to the Rio crash, it was just like horrendous because it was just like on this side of the road, absolutely panics at this point, slams on both brake or rear brake, then front brake, and then goes flying over the handlebars. And um, I mean, she was really badly injured and she would have won the gold if she didn't, um, if she hadn't mess messed up that corner. Uh, but anyway, those are my thoughts. What do you think about the comparison between them? Are they similar crashes or not? I think they're, they're quite similar in some ways, but I think she's definitely got a lot better at cornering just from that crash. Like, I mean, this is like, very unlucky that she did i think could have saved it in hindsight and um, probably kicking herself that she did didn't just bank her over and hope for the best um but from a boy who's also crashed trying to get a calm down there 
<laughs> down some random uh, hill in the UK. I mean, I'm not sure how much advice I can give. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you'd enjoy this quick little video. The tour was extremely boring today. Um, I thought not much really happened. It was just a one for the breakaway. Um, I mean, fair play Magnus Corp. I really wanted a Nick Schultz win. Uh, but anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you in the next one.